Okay, T-side smokes come up into this corner here, line up with this line, and then go up and jump through. That's going to smoke off the top of Banana, and it'll deny any vision into Banana from the CTs. Pretty useful for taking fast Banana control. CT spawn smoke come up to the doors here, line up at the top of the chimney smoke, throw. It's going to pop right in CT, no gaps. No problems. Alright, Coffin Smoke, come up to the top of the logs, line yourself up between this little ball and this little ball. Once you've lined them up, go ahead and throw. It's going to pop right next to the coffins, and no one will be able to see over them. Alright, come up into the barrels in the corner here, find this little line, and then go to the corner next to it and throw. That's going to smoke off deep CT. And uh, you can use this if you want to run some sort of strat where you wrap into construction and crunch the guys on B site. If you want to smoke off pit, come into this corner, find this dot, go up until you reach the height of the flower pot, and throw. Going to pop in front of pit, you can use this to wrap onto the bomb site on something like a pistol round. There are a lot of different ways to smoke the arch side. My personal favorite way is to throw it from back here, just because of how safe it is. Come up to this pole, line up this antenna with the roof of this building, and throw. It's going to pop for the arch side. Goes pretty deep. Uh, there is a potential to boost over it, but it uh, should get the job done. From the same position, you can actually smoke library. Find the top of this painting. Line up with this line right here on the door. Do a jump throw. That's going to bounce off of these roofs and land right in front of library. Pretty good if you want to do some sort of uh, strat where you wrap arch side. A good smoke to accompany that one is to come up in between these two doors and aim above the top right corner of this window and throw. That's going to smoke off the right side of mid. Pretty easy smoke to learn and you can use it to either wrap A or split B. Here's a cool one way smoke. Come up to this door here, line up with this line, aim at this white brick, and throw. That's going to land on top of the hay cart, and you can actually jump on top of the railing and see into the bomb site as a one-way. Very difficult for the people on the other side to see you walking out. Come up to this wall here, line up with in the middle of this little ring-looking thing, and throw. That's going to pop moto. Pretty useful for your standard A take. If you're in the post plant and you want a quick way to smoke moto consistently, come up to this little ledge here, aim at the top of this window, move to the left a little bit, and throw. Pretty easy way to smoke moto in the post plant. Does not leave any major gaps. Alright, CT side smokes. Let's start with the bottom of banana. Just aim in between the corner of this wall and this lamp. Anywhere in between here and doing a run throw will smoke the bottom of banana without any issues. Pretty good for taking banana control early in the round. Cool one-way smoke for the A site. Come up into this corner, find the bottom left of this arrow and throw. Gives you vision into lane. It's really hard for the T's to be able to see you though. Here's another one way. Come up to the door frame crouch and aim just above this corner here. It's going to pop on the ledge and you can see the terror's feet as they run across. Okay, T-side flashes. First we have the window flash. Come up to the stairs here. Aim above this window and to the left a little bit and jump through. That's going to blind any CT that tries to peek banana in any fashion. If you want to flash anyone playing close banana, come up to this pole, line just above this little ball peen, and throw. It's going to blind anyone playing close. Here's a really good flash for the B site. Come up next to the logs, aim on top of these barrels, and jump throw. It's going to pop in the middle of sight and blind most players here. If you don't have access to a jump throw, another cool flash you can throw is by coming between these two bricks, finding this antenna, aiming way above it, and then doing a crouching walk throw. That's going to pop on top of the roof and blind anyone playing in the, in the B site. 
If you want to flash for your teammates to take control of porch, just come up into this corner in Mexico and aim at this little corner of the roof. And that's going to pop on the floor and blind anyone holding from the porch area. A cool flash you can do from alt mid, come up to this little ball peen, aim in this gray area and do a jump throw. It's going to pop off the skybox and land on top of the porch, so you can actually throw it as your teammates that are running up lane, and anyone playing towards the pit or site area is going to be blind. This is called the balcony flash. Come up to this wall here, aim in the middle of the chimney, do a crouching throw. That's going to pop outside of the pit, and anyone playing in the pit should be blind. CT side flashes if you're a pit player. Just pop a flash off of the door here. It'll pop in lane. You can peek with it. Pretty straightforward. Anyone coming up lane is blind. Here's a coffin flash. Come here. Aim at the antenna. And throw. Any T's pushing a banana should be fully blind. If you're playing underneath porch and you want to pop flash for yourself, you can actually aim underneath this little gray spot and throw. It's going to pop on top of a porch, you can peek with it to fight anyone pushing middle. If you want to throw a flash for your teammate to peek from the balcony room, come on top of the barrel, aim at the bottom left corner of this window and do a jump throw. It's going to pop right off the skybox and blind anyone pushing up. T-side Molotovs. Come up to this pillar and line up with this barrel and then maintain the same crosshair height while adjusting to between these two pillars on the window and then just run up and jump through when you hit these shadow lines here. Lands in the balcony room goes pretty deep, so not only will they have issues peeking, they also will have trouble crossing into the other side of apartments without taking damage. If you want a molly new box, come up to the barrel in the panel, come to this little divot and do a jump throw. It doesn't get the entirety of new box, but it's enough to force them off of the angle. If you want a molly dark, jump up on top of the half wall, come up into the very corner, find this leaf and do a one step run throw. I've only got one CT side Molotov for you. If you're an opper, you can actually throw a deep molly towards T ramp like this. And what this does is it prevents the T's from getting aggressive in mid, which allows you to take a more aggressive angle towards alt. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.